All right, I'm here with Lindsay Wynn, one of our uh, literacy coaches of the Bethlehem Area School District. And we're here to talk today because th uh, literacy coaches is something that we can do um, because we've received more funding from the state. So we say when we have more, we do more. Uh, last year, the state was very generous in increasing funding for uh, districts, particularly districts that have been historically underfunded like BASD. Um, and it makes a difference. It allows us to address needs. And if, unless you haven't been paying attention at all, people know that Bethlehem is focused on literacy. Definitely at the elementary level, we're working our way up to more and more focus at the, at the high school level. And the advantage of coaches is that they're, they're coaching the teachers. They're not coaching the kids. We have the teachers to take care of the kids. Um, so the coaches grow capacity and help our teachers grow their um, instructional skills. So thank you so much for being with me. Uh, I just need you to talk a little bit about, you know, what do you do as an instructional coach? So with my partner, George Ziegler, so we both work with the two high schools and the four middle schools. We work mostly with teachers who are looking to do a variety of things. Sometimes it's increasing engagement in the classroom and we might meet with teachers and look at instructional practices and how we can you know, help all students you know, find success. And we work with teachers to differentiate assignments and work with our IEP students, our English language learners. We've helped teachers with you know, uh, ramping up assignments for our advanced students, our you know, honor students, gifted IEP students. And so really it's about helping teachers find the skills and strategies to make every student find success and for the teacher to feel successful too. We work with our new teachers, we work with veteran teachers, so it's really for everyone. And it's something that I think brings us a lot of joy because I know that teaching can sometimes feel isolating and by giving teachers the tools that they have, they can really you know, move forward and feel like they're making a difference. And that makes us feel like we're making a difference too. So and we have a lot to learn and grow, but I think so far it's been a very rewarding experience. Great points um, and great point that teachers work primarily when they're doing the job, they're in the classroom by themselves. So that's that isolating piece. So the opportunity to work with a coach, to reach out, work with a coach, um, really, you know, bridges that gap of isolation. Yes, and there's a, a coaching cycle, so you can, it can be as simple as reaching out and, hey, I need help with this idea, this something I wanna try, and it can be very quick coming up with a resource or finding, you know, some research-based practices, or it could be a full cycle where we meet before, during, and after to look at teaching practices and looking at data and growth of the students and really see what's working and not working and taking it to the next step. Yeah, thank you. And for, we talk a lot about, you know, acts equity and access, that we want students to be able to um, be able to access the educational opportunities that are provided. How does, how does the coaching fit in there? I am very passionate about inclusion and equity. Um, both of my own children in, in the district are special needs, so it's very important to me to make sure that all students find success. And so we look at you know, how we can scaffold, how we can differentiate and help teachers with that. We also look at the diversity within the curriculum and making sure that we have text that students can relate to. Uh, and that's something that's very important to the district too. And that's a vision that we've been trying to keep in mind as we move forward. Great, thank you. And so um, just to reemphasize again, when we have more, we can do more. Uh, we did not have uh, literacy coaches across the district, maths, math coaches, behavior coaches, uh, prior to the increase in funding, so we're better able to take care of our kids and grow our teachers at the same time. 